concentrate and double up and triple up the exaggeration because if a world-class player at one time, I've got to make him feel stupid to look right. Can you imagine how you have to feel to change that? So, interestingly enough, to, d to figure that out, to get that right position, but not feel the tension of being out of way, and Tommy and I just, I was just telling you, that's what we're working on this morning. So, I was, as I was set up, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or what, but getting my rear end like really sucked under here so I had too much flexion in my leg and my back was a little more vertical and it looks close it, it looked jammed so all I did was I took my my uh, thighs and I got those a little more vertical to the ground okay now it looks like I've got more space to swing and my posture all of a sudden goes to where oh I got good posture again Yep. So that that was the that was the fix right there. Yeah, it's touchy. It's touchy, but again, they, they exaggerate things. If you're gonna, if you want to go back and improve your game, like I, I, you hear me say all the time, you got it. You've got all these balls. You've got to have two or three things that you've got to think about, and you got to multitask to break habits. When that club swings, you got to. I don't give a shit what if you hit them or not. You will hit some. But you've got to make certain, when I ask the question, what are you thinking about? You say, well, I'm thinking about the grip, John. I'm sick of you talking about the grip. But last night I looked at it, I've got a good grip. I don't flunk the grip test. I change almost everybody's grip again here, okay? So I said, if you don't get that part, the conversation is over, okay? It's over. So then you say, okay, I got the grip. You don't, I mean, my members are sick of me talking about the grip. I said, because if you want to be a good golfer, if you want to be a bad golfer, you go about 10 miles that way, okay? Here, we're good, okay? You 